Hello everybody, I'm so excited. Okay, today we are gonna be filming a very fun video. I'm going to be giving you guys book recommendations based off of your favorite Taylor Swift songs. Ah! You know, literally, I'm always excited when I'm talking about Taylor. So this video has been a long time in the coming and I thought what better time than in October right before the release of Midnight's like hello. Is it blurry to you guys or am I blind? Anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, so let's just get right into it. So I'm gonna start off with a really basic one. Start off basic and then get into the more exciting ones later. Okay, so the first one is, I think if you've read this book, like you, you know this is coming, this is the first thing you think of when you think of a Taylor Swift song and a book being compared and it's The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo and I think you should read this book if your favorite song is The Lucky One and that's because this is quite literally the story of The Lucky One. The book follows Evelyn Hugo, um, a famous actress. She's now 80 years old and she's decided to give like a tell-all interview because she's literally never been like truthful about her entire story ever before so everybody's really excited and basically the interview follows her life story and the seven husbands that she had over her lifetime um it's just it's oh it's so good it's so good i this is like one of the first books i read like last year two years ago when i first got back into reading and i think it's it's just like very much like a good story to get into and it's very easy to read um it is formatted as like it's like every other chapter is the interviewer and her it starts off with her life story and then going to evelyn's house to interview her and then the next chapter it like goes into actually like the past and like the flashback of evelyn at that time um but it's really interesting and there was like a big twist at the end that i was like whoa not expecting next up is conversation with friends by sally rooney and i think you should read this book if your favorite song is illicit affairs like moi so conversations with friends um follows the story of these two friends francis and what was her friend's name bobby bobby and they used to date they used to be girlfriends but they broke up and now they're just friends um but they run into this older couple um and they become friends with them but then francis has a crush on the husband, um, Nick, and they get into a little affair and it kind of follows that story. And I think if you like illicit affairs, you will like this book because it's, it has that age gap too, where she's like 21, I think, in the book. And he's like early 30s, I think. There is very much this idea of her like being a kid and him being older, knowing more or whatever, and just like not seeing eye to eye. It's a really interesting book. And it, the, Sally Rooney's writing style takes a while to get into, in my opinion. But if you like literary fiction, I think you'll really like this book. And there's some quotes, especially towards the end, that like still haunt me in the middle of the night. So, haha, haha, -ha. because you know, midnight's coming out tomorrow, yeah did that on purpose definitely next book is one of my favorite books of all time and it's before the coffee gets cold and i think you should read this book if your favorite song is right where you left me again another favorite of mine so before the coffee gets cold is actually a translated japanese fiction story and it's a, it's magical realism so it's there, there's this coffee shop where if you go inside of it you can time travel um but there's a bunch of these like really convoluted rules to the time travel which essentially renders the time travel completely meaningless it's really there's no point in time traveling because the rules are so um specific but you get the story of four people who still choose to and i think it's just like that really interesting look into like how desperate you have to be to want to go back in time for this one person um just to get one more chance with them and i think that like it's like entirely encapsulates the feeling of right where you left me and that feeling of her being like i'm right where i caused no harm mind my business if our love died young i can't bear witness and it's been so long but if you ever think you got it wrong i'm right where you left me 
that idea of like she would literally give up everything to go back as you can see i cried to this song a lot like one of my favorite books ever um and there's i've only read the first one but there's three books now with like more stories um so that's even more fun if you end up enjoying it you can have more stories more than just four stories about the coffee shop next up is the idiot by alif batuman um and i suggest this book if you really like nothing new um the idiot follows the story of I think her name is Celine. Um, it's been a really long time since I've read this one, but she's a her from when she is a freshman at Harvard. It's one of those books where nothing really happens and you just like follow the character day to day, which is exactly what I love. But you basically follow her in this like coming of age story as she tries to navigate like young adult life and she develops a crush on like this older kid, I think, at the in one of her classes and like pursues that a little bit and has to deal with like the rejection that comes with it um really interesting and this one also there's another book that was just released i haven't read that one yet either but okay so this is another one of my favorite books ever but my next recommendation is the secret history the book of all books and it i think you should read this if your favorite song is cardigan now listen to me okay so this one isn't as much about the content of the book and the content of the song as it is the overall like feeling and um appreciation of them as works of art um so i think if you really enjoy cardigan for its lyricism its storytelling its ability to paint a picture you will love the secret history for that same reason because donna tart can craft her words like no other and it's just i find myself going back to this book again and again rereading it underlining new words every time it's beautiful i love it um but at the same time i feel like it does kind of relate to the contact content of the song especially the line when you are young they assume you know nothing because the book is essentially told from the perspective our narrator is richard pappin and he's telling this story when he's 28 years old about when he was in college so he's kind of like looking back on that time and he's also one of the most unreliable narratives you will ever hear from so i just i think it just adds to like the intensity of emotion that is cardigan okay we have two more books that I'm going to be recommending today. These two, this next one I think is like a book that all Taylor Swift lovers should read. I think if you are a fan of romance books or romance stories and a fan of Taylor Swift, like this book is perfect and it's better than the movies by Lynn Painter. Um, and so I suggest this song if you like You Belong With Me um, and then also there was a little bit of Mary's song and The Way I Loved You in this book as well so <laughs> Better Than The Movies follows the story of Liz and Wes um, and their neighbors and they basically hate each other and they're fighting over this parking spot all the time but they've been neighbors ever since they were children hence like the Mary's song like childhood friends to lovers kind of moment although they weren't really friends they were just like neighbors whatever which is why you belong with me fits into it um but it follows them oh, it's so cute like I haven't I haven't read a romance book this cute in a very long time but I was just like smiling the entire time I was reading it. Um, I don't want to give it a, a like. I don't want to tell you the plot of it because I want you to like enjoy the full story. But yeah, it's about them and I I like epitome of Taylor Swift romance enjoyers. Like you will love this book. Um, okay, I like and now I have two more books. So next, I think you should read um, these Violent Delights if you like all too well ten minute version. Um, these violent delight these violent delights is a Romeo and Juliet retelling based in 19th 20 Shanghai I feel like I don't need to say much more. There's also fantasy in it um, Basically, yeah, you got the Romeo and Juliet like enemies lovers moment and I just think like all too well like it, it captures like the intensity of the story pretty well um, and she just recently created and that's also a duology so you have two books to enjoy and she just released like a spin-off 
um, book about one of the other characters as well, so. And final book, one of my favorite books ever. Okay, so I think you should read this book. If you like Treacherous, Battle, I know, an unreleased one. Like, I'm going all out for you guys here. And Enchanted. So these three book, these three songs and capture this book very well. And I, and that book is The Swoven Kingdom by Tallhead and Mafi. Uh, it's actually sitting right here. As you, like, that's how much I love it. She's like on display for everybody to see. Is this not the most beautiful book you've ever seen? Focus on it, please. Please. I don't know what's wrong with my camera. Anyway, my camera's very blurry for some reason. I think I messed up the settings, so we'll have to go back and fix that later. But this Woven Kingdom, this is actually another, uh, this is based off of Persian mythology, and it follows the story of Alize, who is like a jinn heir, um, but she's in hiding because the jinn kingdom has really fallen apart and it's divided and basically they're mostly in hiding among humans um so she's been hiding as a servant to like random people throughout this city um and it basically follows her story as she's just trying to survive and then the other half is about Combron, the prince the crown prince of this kingdom um and yeah it's like them you know like they meet obviously he's a human she's a jinn so it's like forbidden lovers which is why like treacherous i think really fits well what happens is once the king finds out that alize is a is like living sorry i'm kind of giving it away but it's okay this is a trilogy so you can like this is this book's like kind of setting up the story and then we're gonna get more into it in the next book so you should still read it the next one's coming out in february so um but basically once the king finds out that aliza is alive he basically orders Comron, the prince um to kill her and my man doesn't want to kill her because she's hot and he fell in love with her he fell in love with her the first time he saw her and let me read to you what he said when he saw her guys okay this is what he thought the minute he laid eyes on her. She was finely designed, loveliness rendered in its truest sense. <laughs> That's like why I said enchanted for this. Because um, he is quite li literally enchanted, bewitched, starstruck the entire book. Um, so actually, if you, if you... A lot of people hate this because they're like, ew, insta-love. No. No, you don't get it. It's not insta love. It's not insta love. It's this is isn't some like shitty white romance book, okay? This is art. This is a masterpiece. This is history. <sighs> I really love this book, as you can see. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, he orders her him to kill her, but he can't, she can't do that. Um, he can't do that to her so he's like struggling with that the entire time and the reason why i say battle so this one's a bit of a stretch because i've already like started putting the story together in my mind my for the next book um for the next book i feel like she's gonna like because in, in this book it's like hinting at the Jin kingdom coming back together once it's found out that she's like the heir um so what I think is gonna happen in the next book is like the Jin Kingdom comes and it's like they're like putting them together and so it's like the Jin versus the human. So Kamran's like, and I used to be on your side, but it's looking like we're going to battle. <laughs> Bro, I love this book so much. Um yeah, I feel like I just like rambled on for 20 minutes straight, so I'm not sure if I actually gave you guys any good book recommendations. Um, if you take anything out of this video, read this Woven Kingdom, please. Um, but yeah, that is, those are my book recommendations for you today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed these and if you have any like recommendations based off of Taylor songs Please leave them down below. I would love some more and yeah, everybody comment your the track that you're most excited for on midnights and Have fun with the release tomorrow. Bye